Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December. Okay, uh, any time in December. I hope to be doing weeklies for December as well, but this is going to be for the month of December. Okay. So what do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December? We're going to start right here. What do we have for Taurus for the month of December? Authority. Authority. This is being in charge. Decisive. You could be dealing with an emperor. Okay, this is a person that is uh, very much uh, dominant. Okay, this is a very dominant energy. If you, This is a very uh, structured, uh, protective energy. For some of you, this could be a man in your life. It could be a man in your life that is very protective of you. Their, ma their mind is made up. This man appears to be brawny. Looks like he has some sort of muscles. He may have short hair, dark hair. Um, whoever this person is, this person is in a position of authority. They're very dominant. Very dominant energy. Um, structured. In charge. Looks like somebody's mind is made up and they are not going to change their mind. They know what they want. And they're, and that's the way it goes. So this is about structure and stability and this is decisive decision has been made and there's no changing it now i don't know if you're dealing with it or this could even be your energy you may be in this energy where you're in charge you know this is a boss you're the boss or you're dealing with a boss you're, you may be dealing with somebody who uh this person may be a business owner manager um Somebody is stubborn, stubborn as hell. So whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, this person's mind is made up. There's no changing of this person's mind. They know exactly what they want, whether it's you or the person that you are dealing with. Um, four, all is well. All is well. There is definitely some sort of protection here. It feels like you have a protector. Somebody's protecting you. It could be a father. It could be a husband. It could be a, a man in your life. Masculine energy. If you are the man watching this, you are being seen as somebody's protector. Somebody is very, very uh I don't know, I feel like you're the alpha. If you're the masculine watching this, you're an alpha and if somebody is uh looking to you for protection however that resonates with you um, some sort of provider it feels like we have a provider here that <laughs> his arms are crossed this is a burly man if it's a man this is a man that has some you know girth or whatever you want to talk about something like that definitely in your reading here what do we have for taurus one card please three of cups three of cups is celebration Having fun, getting together with friends. Uh, I don't know if there's some sort of gossip as well. You may be dealing with some gossip. People could be talking about you. Uh, that's just what I see from this card. I don't usually see it, but that is what I see. You could also be getting together with people and talking. So just beware of your words, okay? Um... News is getting around, put it that way. So there could somebody, your friends could be gossiping about you. Okay, so just, or maybe they're not really friends, I don't know. Anyhow, there's some, there's people talking. There is absolutely people talking. You know, I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. 
absolutely could be. I'm not sure who it is, but you're happy. I feel like there's some sort of happiness here, and maybe there there is happiness. And you, you, there, you, there could be somebody that isn't very happy. They may be jealous or something like that. Anyhow, oh, I keep looking at that that card right there. That emperor. You're dealing with somebody who um, is very, very. has made up their mind. This is a this is a ruler. This person has made up their mind and they know what they want and I feel like there's uh some it almost like that like looks like somebody's not happy. They're not happy about uh they're not happy about the gossip or they're not happy about uh the socializing or something. There's some, there could even be a third party situation here. I'm not sure that three of cups is socializing, having fun with friends. This person looks like they're not very intrigued by a, by the, by a situation. Um, that's what it looks like to me. Um, somebody, and you know, the emperor is always ready to fight. That's a fighter, okay? Somebody in a position of authority that is ready to fight. So get prepared for that. My reins are falling off. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. That's for you, Taurus. Crib. <laughs> birth or conception of a child or enterprise so there is some and this has to do with the father so the, i don't know it's a father or a very masculine energy masculine energy is, is prominent here there could be news of celebration there's a celebration coming up for sure there's going to be the birth or conception of something. And it doesn't have to be a child because it says enterprise as well. But you've got to use your head. You've got to be smart. Okay, you need to be careful because you need to be aware of this self-delusion. So make sure that you are not... Make sure you're using your head because the emperor has to use their head, not their heart. You know, um, make sure you're using your head in your decision makings this month. Um... I think there's some socializing going on. There's definitely something going on. Maybe it's over, you know, messenger or over social media that and it's causing something to, um, it feels like blossom as well. Um, interesting. So what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for December? Five of Swords reversed. Death card. Queen of Cups reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Deep sadness here. Queen of Cups reverse, deep sadness, jealousy as well. I do think you've got somebody here that is jealous. Absolutely. There's a loss here. I hate to tell you that, but with these two cards, there is some sort of loss. It's, it's a missed opportunity or a loss. Something has slipped away. Somebody has walked away. Somebody has walked away. Now, I'm not sure who it is. You may have walked away from somebody or somebody is walking away from you. There's definitely one individual here that is very, very stubborn, um, very hard-headed, very hard-headed energy. This is a loss. This is a loss. This is walking away, surrender, being defeated. This is heartache, sadness, grieving, uh, jealousy as well. So there's some sort of jealousy, but this is a, a victory Okay, and you, you are going to proceed forward. You are going to make progress, but it's progress after sadness. And that is the truth. So there's some sort of sadness here. There's going to be a celebration um, that I feel like this celebration, and I don't know if there's three people talking behind your back or something. That's the celebration, you know, and you hear about it and it makes you sad. It, makes, it breaks your heart. There's some sort of heartbreak here is what I'm trying to say. Okay, um, there is some, because that Queen of Cups in reverse is heartbroken. 
Ace of Pentacles, unplanned, un Ace of Pentacles reverse, unplanned ending. So something is coming to an end. And I think that, I don't know if you're dealing with an individual that has no morals, that has no conscience, could be a, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be an Aries, could, could be uh, anybody. Um, but we do have a big loss here. Somebody, it's an unplanned loss. It's the end of something with that death card with a new beginning to follow. Okay, this is an, it's an ending. It's the ending of a struggle as well. You've been, there's, somebody's been struggling. They've been, they've been fighting, they've been fighting a battle. They've been, and the battle's over. By the end of the month, the battle is over. But there's, there's a battle that is happening as we speak. Um, which is going to end. This battle is going to end. The fight is going to end because somebody is going to stand their ground. They're going to stand their ground. They're going to walk away. They're leaving. Somebody's leaving. Okay, somebody's leaving. I don't know if this has to do with a job even. It could have to do with a job. It could have to do with a boss. I don't know. It could have to do with a father. It could have to do with a husband. Uh, whoever it is, a very masculine energy. Anyway, and there's heartbreak here with the Queen of Cups in reversed, you know. Um, great, great sadness, but victory comes from this. The battle ends, okay? The battle ends, the fight ends, and now you can move towards something more successful, something more peaceful, something more balanced, something more harmonious. So balance and harmony are waiting after this sad uh, ending. This is a sad ending. It is. I feel like you definitely have somebody that is, is very jealous of you. Um, and maybe three people, okay? Um, they may be gossiping, gossiping behind your back. Um, but I do feel like you are protected. I feel like you will be protected. And I feel like this is something that you don't need to worry about. I feel like you shouldn't worry about it. Let these people talk. If they want to talk, let them talk. If the only reason they're talking is because they're jealous. Judgment reverse. So poor judgment call. Lack of awareness. We have somebody here that is unaware. They are unaware that something to do with money. Knight of Pentacles. They are unaware of something financial. Some sort of financial victory. Somebody's unaware that a financial victory is coming. Hard, somebody's hard work was going to pay off. And there's going to be jealousy because of it. Somebody's somebody's faith and uh, what's the word for it? Loyalty has been tested. Somebody is not going to get what they want in court. I'm not sure if this is a legal battle or what. I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign. I don't know if somebody is trying to sue you or trying to take your money or something like that. Because you're going to be holding on to the money. You're going to be holding on to the to the thing, to whatever it is that they want. Okay, you, you're going to be the one holding on to it. You're going to be the one with the victory. Um, somebody has made a poor judgment call. They have lied. They didn't tell the truth. Now they're about to be judged. Um... Bad karma. Somebody's getting some bad karma. Judgment. And I think it's the other person. I don't think it's you. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. They lied. But there is definitely going to be some sort of recognition. I think that you are going to be recognized for your loyalty, for your hard work. There's some sort of recognition here. And there's that's where the jealous people come in. People get jealous. They're jealous of your uh, status, right? They're jealous of your status. So beware of that. So you're going to be dealing with some jealous people this month. Um, judgment reversed. That is lack of awareness. Are you ready to be judged? You will be judged as well. So the, the, I don't know if you're going to be going to court. You could be. You could be ending up in court against somebody. I'm not sure. Or other people. It could be friends. You know, it could be friends of whoever you're dealing with. Those people judging you. 
There's some sort of judgment here. I do feel like uh, there's some sort of uh, needing to move on, needing to be practical, needing to move on from something. Um, somebody may have been holding on to thinking that there was another chance, but there isn't another chance. There's no chances left with the judgment reversed. Chances are gone. There's none left. No chance in reconciliation here. Somebody may even be put on trial, maybe, maybe you know, trying to move on from a bad choice, but it's too late. It feels like it's too late. It feels like we have an individual that pushed somebody away. They've lost a golden opportunity. Now perhaps something has ended in their life and they may want another chance. Whether it's you or them, this reading can go vice versa. The answer is no. The answer is no. No chance is left. Now that Knight of Pentacles is a gift. Somebody may be coming with a gift as well. They may be even coming with an apology or an offer. Um... Now, it could be any kind of offer. So I do feel like you're going to be getting an offer that that can lead you to peace. It can lead you to harmony. It can lead you to victory. But who somebody isn't going to like that you get this offer. Okay, just keep that in mind. You've got somebody here that is very much uh, doesn't like you. Okay? They definitely are very, very, very jealous of you. Um, and we do have a major ending here. This is a profound life change with that death card. So something is going to come to an end. Um, you're going to be broken free from something that has brought you to your knees in the past. Okay, it's really, really hurt you. It's belittled you. It, it made you feel like nothing. Okay, this, this is over. Okay, it's over. It's over now. You can proceed forward. Um, towards your victory you will you will be victorious you will be successful but you have to move on you have to move on you have to let go and you have to forgive and I feel like forgiveness is going to be a problem for you you may not be able to forgive forgiveness is needed judgment and the upright is about forgiveness so you're going to need to forgive you're going to need to forgive somebody even if you don't get an apology okay so what do we have for December? A new life is starting, is beginning because death, death is an end of one life and the beginning of another. So you have a new life that is beginning this month, a new life that leads to stability. Okay, it leads to stability. It leads to harmony because of that six of wands. It does. It leads to success. But you're going to need to master your emotions. I feel like you're going to be crying this month. You're going to be sad this month. I'm being honest with you. Because you may even feel guilty or feel ashamed for making a poor choice. If you've made a poor choice, you may be embarrassed by it. You know? Um, either way, that death card is a new beginning. It's, 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 a, it's a painful loss that leads to a new beginning. So, yeah. It's also a card of transformation. So you may be going through a transformation this month. You may find yourself not emotionally available. You're trying to work on your own stability. You may be uh, not wanting to open your heart to anybody. You know, you're focusing on your stability. You're focusing on your, your uh, foundation, right? You're going through some sort of transformation this month. And it's because of a loss. And this is a huge loss. And I think that you're finding your confidence after being put down. You've been put down by somebody. Really, I don't know if it's a father or a husband or somebody in a position, you know, that abused you. I feel like there's some sort of abuse here. I don't know if it's mental abuse, verbal abuse, neglect, something like that. But I feel like you're, you're uh, transforming, okay? And I feel like... Uh, you're making progress to move on from a bad choice that you have made. But you're holding on to your own, right? You're taking care of yourself. Ten of Pentacles, like I said, yeah. This is the... I think there could be a change in the in the legacy. Okay, maybe 
Um, now this could be something to do with a home. You may be purchasing a new home or moving or traveling. Uh, this is extreme abundance, extreme. So we have the completion of struggle. I think you've been struggling. If you've been struggling, you ain't going to struggle anymore. This is it's time to work on your foundation, your home. You're going to be focusing on your home, whether you're buying a home or moving into a new home or you've just moved into a new home. This is about stability. It's about comfort. You're going to be focusing on that this month. This is uh, also financial success with the Ten of Pentacles permanence permanent home or you may be focusing on a new permanent location new permanent home um, you may be even coming into some money you may be coming into some money that comes from a loss you know what I mean it's like a loss that brings you some sort of money which is interesting to say I know um, I don't know if you're getting some sort of inheritance. Some of you may. Or you're getting a bonus. You could be getting a bonus or some family money. Or somebody may be handing down some money to you that you did not expect. It could come from somebody's passing away. You know, somebody could pass away and, and, and I don't know, you could inherit it, uh, inherit a home or some money. Or you're getting the payout now. But this is a huge loss. A huge loss that unfortunately pays off because of this Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you may be even purchasing some new property, um, making an offer, making somebody an offer, leaving the past behind, moving to a better place. Some of you may be moving to a better place, leaving something behind. There's no chances left. You, I think you're dealing with somebody that uses emotional blackmail as a tactic. This person won't change their mind for any reason whatsoever. You can't reason with this person. Um, they could be the one that's moving. Somebody's moving. Somebody is moving. There could be a third party and gossip could have gotten, gotten around, you know, because that's what happens when people gossip. So things have gotten around and now somebody's moving. Um, I do feel like there is some sort of protection from a father. I don't know if this father has passed away um, or what. I do, Or father or husband. I feel like there's some sort of protection from this person um, that is trying to guide you out of a uh, bullying situation. I don't know if you've been bullied by another person or abused by another person with that Five of Swords. There's, there's some, the Five of Swords reversed. It's, that's some sort of abuse. Okay. I feel like, and there could also be some revenge. Okay. Somebody may be seeking revenge because of their loss. People react out of, out of loss, out of pain. So be prepared for that. And I feel like for most of you, it's, it's a water sign. I, that Queen of Cups in reverse is, is getting me. It's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, it feels like it's a water sign energy or it's somebody that has a lot of water in their chart. Um, it doesn't have to be though. Um, I do feel like you are protected. I feel like your faith is, is going to be tested. I feel like you are being tested right now. You're, 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 you're going to be focusing on your foundation, uh, focusing on, I don't know if you're moving somewhere, um, moving on. You're definitely moving on from something from, and it's, I, and I think you got some haters here. So you're moving away from the hate. You're looking for peace. The five of swords reversed is looking for peace. I don't, I don't have nothing left to fight about. I just want to be happy. You know, I just want to be happy. So somebody is, is choosing choosing that. They're choosing their own happiness and, and letting something go that is no longer valuable to them. Um, you, you know, this is interesting. So, so there could be an exchange of money that, you know, uh, gives you a new place to live. I don't know how that resonates, but anyhow. We definitely have a new beginning here with that death card. This is a major transformation. You're going to be moving on from somebody that, I don't know, didn't love you with that Queen of Cups reversed. This person was manipulative and revengeful. Let's get, here we have it. 
This is like relocation. It's not worth it anymore. That season is over. It's time to go someplace else. So yeah, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of relocation. There's nothing left here. So you may be planning it. But this is unplanned. And this could, this is, I don't know. One more card. You're going to be getting some sort, making some sort of profit this month. Some sort of profit. I think it's a big profit. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, reverse. Beware, beware, beware of uh, becoming materialistic, okay? Um, mm. be beware of your health. You need to beware of your health. There's some sort of instability here. There's some sort of giving money away as well. I feel like you're going to be giving out some money this month. You're going to be paying out some money. And it has to do with a home. It does have you're going to be putting money into your home, into your foundation, something like that. You are going to be putting out some money this month. Hip 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 hooray. Beware of your ego, too. I feel like you need to beware of your ego. You need to beware of overspending. Don't waste your money. Um, don't don't let your... You're going to need to be humble, okay? And I said you that because we got the devil on the bottom, which is about ego. Okay, it's about ego and pride and materialism. And this is materialism as well, okay? Um, you may be climbing the ladder, you know, climbing the social ladder. Don't let it go to your head. Don't let it go to your head. I feel like you're going through a major transformation this month and you're going to need to be uh, responsible. You're going to need to be uh, loyal and you're going to need to not waste your money. Do not waste your money. I feel like um, I feel like you need to be careful. Be careful of who you're giving your money to. Uh... <laughs> You may see a setback in your bank account because you're purchasing something. I feel like there's a big purchase here that's going to hurt your bank account. Um, take your time. There's no need. If you want to mitigate this, take your time. There's no hurry. Slow down. Slow down. There's no hurry. So be careful. Be really, really, really careful. Um, there's definitely some jealousy around you as well. So it feels like this month you need to focus on your finances. You need to focus on saving your money. Um, maybe it's for a big purchase later. Um, you have somebody around you that you uh, need to break free from that you probably need to forgive. I feel like this month, um, you may have to say no. You are gonna have to say no to somebody that may even want your money. Good luck. <laughs> 